Today we're gonna to be working on the Bozo car and today should be a little interesting. We're gonna be seeing if our new tires, which are 185 60R14s on our 10 and a half wide SSR Mark 1s. Uh, we are gonna try and do this ourselves uh, because these aren't R comps, so the sidewalls aren't that thick. We're gonna try and mount these ourselves because most shops around here won't even attempt it because again, this is going to be an insane stretch and I have no idea if this is gonna fit. Uh, I doubt it will. Uh, we're hoping that it will get all the way out to the edges here. I think it'll fit, but I don't know if it's gonna get all the way out to the edge. Um, and the reason we went with these tires is because this is the only size tire that we can go with besides a 205 55 R14 in an R888 or an uh, Nitto NT01. This is our only choice to go with besides that. And the r eights are not only more expensive, but I think they won't be enough of a stretch. And we'll probably have the same exact bubble effect that we had with the 225 uh, R888. So we don't want that. I'd like to try and go with these. We're gonna see if it will work because it's a taller sidewall. We'll see if it'll work. Obviously, these are really, really narrow and on a 10 and a half wide, this is gonna be a huge stretch. But we're gonna see if this will work. We're gonna try and do this ourselves. And uh, I think I think we got all the stuff to be able to do it. I have, of course, another person helping me do this. So it should make it that much more easier. Um, honestly, I have no idea if this is gonna work, but it was really funny picking up this tire. Uh, we went to Discount Tire to pick this up just because it was really local and I was trying to get these tires, basically one tire ASAP. I only bought one, by the way. Uh, if this does work out, then I'll buy the rest of them. Uh, these are really cheap tires and I'm not going this route because they're cheap. I'm going this route because I want more of a stretch and this is literally like the only option and this size tire is meant for like 99 uh, like stock Honda, you know, whatever Civic. So basically they're just cheap tires and in general uh, I may eventually try and go with the Yokohama S drives just because Yokohama makes Advan and Advan is what a lot of the Bozoku people run So I may try and go with that, but this will work for now. We'll try and do this um, This should be a really interesting process. Uh, we're gonna try and do it ourselves. I hope we can do it and um I didn't even explain. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I even explained the picking up the tire, but we asked the tire guy, we were like, you think this will fit, you know, just messing around. He's like, there is no way. Um, but we'll see if it works. Um, let's set this thing up on a tripod and see if we can start lathering this thing up with some, uh, some sort of lubricant around the bead and try and get it on. We're gonna try and mount it from the backside, obviously. And uh, we'll see. Let's put it right in the center, and uh, that way we have the most room to work around it. We have our propane torch here that I just picked up because the other one is in LaSalle at the other shop. Uh, so we're obviously gonna have to try and stretch this. Uh, we could, and it would probably be best to pre-stretch this, and that means that we'd probably put some sort of uh, plywood or something, some spacer in here to stretch the sidewall out before we try and mount it. Uh, we probably should do it, but we're not going to because I'm impatient. Um, but we're gonna see how this works. After like, I don't even know, maybe like 20 minutes, we finally got this thing on. Getting the one side on was pretty easy. Getting this side on was quite a bit more difficult to say the least. Um, with this crowbar, this crowbar is really good for it. This one, not so much, but that's really all we have. If we had two of these, we'd be able to get it done pretty easily. Um, but I kind of found out a way to use this side instead of that side. Kind of sketchy, it could fling out and hit someone but it ended up working out pretty well. Um, and now it's time to try and fill this thing up with air and stretch it. So of course, we're gonna try and use this fire method. We're gonna use some WD-40, spray it around there. Uh, we gotta put our valve in there. This is a removable valve. We have to remove this and then we put our valve stem in there. So we're gonna have the compressor ready.
about a blade. Fuck. That was sick though. Here, can you have this ready and go on there? As soon as it goes. As soon as it gets on fire? Yeah, and just... Like as soon as it catches on fire, just start blowing? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Set this. It's seen on this side though. That's it. We got lucky and the local store had some bead sealer. This is the smallest can they had. It was honestly pretty cheap. It was like 20 bucks, but uh, it's pretty worth it. We're gonna try and seal up the, the bead on the backside that we ended up, um, I don't think I really explained, but this thing is leaking on the backside because uh, when we were trying to put the bead on, we kind of ripped it a little bit and I thought it would be okay, uh, but obviously I ripped it a little too bad. So we're gonna fill this thing up with air figure out where it's coming from. I think it's right here, isn't it? Isn't this where I was coming out of? Um, so we're gonna lather that up with some bead sealer and hopefully this is good for now. I will not be keeping this tire on this wheel even if I do decide to go with these tires because uh, the cheapest way to get these tires is online and I can only buy them in a set of four. So regardless of if I go with these tires or not, I will be putting a new tire on it. Uh, so don't worry about that. We won't be keeping that on there uh, permanently. We're just trying to do this basically for test fitting purposes. We're gonna try and put it on the front and the rear, figure out what kind of spacer we're gonna need. The front's probably gonna be good because I'm gonna have a little bit more clearance because of the stretch. And in the rear, of course, we want better fitment, so we're going to maybe get a bigger spacer than the one inch one that we have on there. Um, or it's actually not on there right now. We have yet to put the new ones on. I took them off so that way we can fit the factory wheels on there. But um, we're gonna figure this out, put the bead seal around there, fill that back up with air, hope it seals, and then we'll try and test fit it.
so here's the dilemma. There's a lot going on and it's hard to explain everything, so I'm gonna try and cover everything. So we have a 185-60R14. Because these are 14 inch wheels, it is very difficult to find tires and a lot of people that suggest to me different tire sizes that would work are suggesting them for a 15 inch tire, which is way more popular wheel, especially here in the States. Um, someone just sent me a video of someone over in Japan that has some Bozo stuff on their channel um, of them stretching a 18560 uh, on their 10 and a half J, which is exactly what this is. So basically it was the exact same thing. I think it was on a, a Mark II or a Mark III SSR. So it was basically this exact same setup. So we know that this is somewhat legit or authentic to what they would do over there because quite literally there was someone and proof of someone doing it this exact same setup. Um, my only concern is with this is the stretch is very big. Um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of stretch. I think it looks good and I think uh, I like it when it helps uh, allow fender to lift fitment. Um, but for this car, you don't really need it. It's just because of the tire and I didn't want the R comp and it just didn't look that well. And I don't know, it didn't really look that great. So we could either go with these, which are 185.60s. Or we could go with a 195.60. There is a possibility of a 195.50, which would be good. However, it seems like it's somewhere out of states that you can get it. So basically, I can't really get it here. Or you get a 205.55, uh, but in an R comp. And the thing is with these wheels, they've been bent twice now. And that is because the tire machine literally cannot grab onto this thing tight enough. These things were popping out of the tire machine and bending the lips. Thankfully, I have a local company here who took care of this wheel, which was the worst wheel. A lot of them had just slight bends. You can see that this one still has a little bit of bends, but uh, they took care of this wheel. This was the worst one. I'll, I'll have to uh, show you a picture in a later video. I'll kind of go through all of them and show you everything, um, but I'll put that in the description if you're local to Illinois and you need to get your wheels fixed, and they also do power coating. Um, but they're called Crown Customs and they took care of me on this one. This was the worst one by far. It was, it was actually horrible. I cannot believe the tire shop did it. Um, but they took, they took care of it for me. Um, so that's why we are just mounting this one and we have some time to mess around with some tire sizes. What else? Uh, have I not covered anything? I mean, that basically it's either our compound, which has a really, really thick sidewall and basically will cause my wheel to bend because it's so hard to put the tire on the wheel and there's so many forces that it'll probably pop off the machine and bend the lip again have to get them repaired which then you have to take off the tire and even taking off the tires will probably bend it but if we do a non arcom i'm sure we'll be okay putting these tires on we were able to put these on ourselves obviously uh while doing that because this is pretty much the first tire i've put on entirely myself uh, we did end up ripping the bead a little bit and that's why we've been messing around and that's why we've been messing around with the bead sealer. Uh, this is not seating all the way. Uh, pretty much everything is really good. We just should have taken a little bit more care in putting this thing on here, obviously, because this is our first time doing this. We didn't really know what we're doing. And this tire is gonna be junked anyways. Um, like I said, I only can buy these things in fours or in one locally, and obviously it's cheaper just to buy them in four. Um, so we're gonna be getting another one for this end anyways. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, point being, I think that this on the car looks too narrow at this point. I think it looks just really small for the car. I think the car is pretty big for what this looks like. Although I think it looks authentic. I think it looks good once it's at the height that it's at. Um, we're gonna try and still get this to see. We're gonna wait for the sealant to dry a little bit. And then we're gonna try and fill it with air possibly tomorrow. Put it on the car, let it all the way down see if we'd like it. Um, obviously, because there's not enough tire pressure in here, uh, it's not seated all the way to the lip. We did get it to seat all the way to the lip whenever it was at pressure. Um, but obviously, since there's the leak here, we're not able to do that. Um, I think it looks really good. I think from here and on the car, it looks really good. But when you take a look back and you can see under the car, which we're gonna try and take care of that because not only are these a little bit shorter of a tire, but I think we're gonna lower the car a little bit too. So hopefully you can't really see it. But the point is, is on the front tires too, when I'm, when I'm turning and everything, you'll be able to see them. Um, I've looked at a lot of pictures. I've seen a lot of videos of the cars and it looks like they do have a lot of stretch. I think this will look good. 
I just don't know if it's the right move. Um, you guys can voice your opinions in the comments. I'll read them, I'll consider them. But when you suggest a tire, consider that I have to think about authenticity, safety, and availability. So it's very difficult to kind of weigh all those options and see what's best. I think that this will be more than safe once we get them professionally installed. Um, I don't think we'll have any issues uh, as long as they don't leak. And if they don't leak, obviously we shouldn't have any issues with debeating. I've never had any issues with debeating on any of my cars, so I don't think it'll be too big of an issue. This is a really big stretch. I'm not denying it. I don't, uh, I, I, I don't really know. <laughs> For all of you naysayers, we were able to fit the 185-60 on this wheel. Uh, this is a 10 and a half wide again. Um, it is an immense amount of stretch. Does it fit? Kind of not really. Did we get it to fit? Yes. Um, and I think at some point in the video, we did get to see where it was fully seated all the way on the outside of the wheel. Um, we're going to come back at a later date and maybe we'll film this in this video too, where we're gonna get this thing fully set up if we can get the speed to uh, you know, seat up against here and, and actually hold air. Um, it's not holding air because we ripped the uh, bead again of the tire. It's not because of anything else. Um, we know that we ripped it before we put it on. We know it would be an issue, but we don't really care because again, we're getting another tire to replace this. I think it looks fucking awesome. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. If you guys are interested in helping out the channel and the progression of this build, go ahead and pick yourself up some merch. It's greatly appreciated. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and peace out.